lights, camera, TFS goes back to the movies. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, look, this isn't my favorite movie, but it is one of the ones where we got really experimental with a lot of it, the writing, the editing, mm. um, and I- The narrative flow, some of the characters. Yeah, I, oh my God. I got to play Garlic Jr. and You've honestly, been waiting. I was waiting well, for so long. I mean, long. you played him in 32. That, so it was inevitable that you were going to play him here. Yeah. This is one of my favorite characters I ever got to play. It's also, I think, one of my best performances, just in general. It, it is a very fun character. And for me, this represented a second chance at material. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not ashamed of the uh, Neighborhood Cluck Productions Dead Zone. I had a lot of fun working on that with Vegeta 3986 and Masako. Uh, it was a real big mistake to let me edit it, but uh, you know what? That die was cast, and it came out, and it was all right. I, I, I had some fun with comedic timing. Uh, there were bits of the script that I still kind of enjoy looking back at, but uh, there are a few in-jokes in here based around it. Just just like one or two. Yeah, yeah, that we make, do make a couple little references. And but honestly, ultimately, it is an entirely different beast. Yeah, and also the the idea of being ashamed for old work is so silly. I, I, I don't, I don't really somewhere. get a, I don't really get ashamed of my old work. I look back at it on, obviously, I grow as a creator and as a creative. And looking back on things and not being a little irksome of what you did in some oh. of your early work. Oh, I mean, if you don't cringe a little, you're doing something wrong. But yeah, so this 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 was a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to this, so let's get to the movies! Woo! The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. <laughs> Perfect. Now I have a place to put my castle once I rule the world. I love this whole fucking just, just side some, story that we have with Piccolo in this movie. Just just the running bit of Piccolo wanting a house. I mean, we bring it up in the series, too, where it's just yeah. like, I don't live anywhere. <laughs> Which, oh, in Superhero, he finally gets yes! a house! And it'll have all the things a castle requires. Like walls and subjects. He's lonely. Maybe even a trebuchet, huh? I'm, I miss Nail. Wait, are they running on air? That's ridiculous. They're flying. Why would they ever even need to? Oh, Come on! From the front to the back! Oh, you better just kill me! Archer! Yep. Shit. You okay, man? I like Tommy? this exchange. Mr. Popo, <laughs> I believe that Piccolo may have been slain. I, I think, think you'd know if he were. You still there? Yes. He ain't dead, is he, Drama Queen? But you don't understand. Drama Queen! But I think Garlic Jr. may have... Drama Queen! <laughs> Popo. Garlic Jr.'s back. He's back! Yep. For a limited time at Arby's. Yep. There's a part of me that wonders. I used the newer logo that we started with, uh, Season 2. Should I have used the Season 1 logo for this? I don't know. Like, th this logo definitely works for what's going on here. Yeah. And uh, we made this initially as a celebration of hitting 1 million subscribers. Oh, yeah. It was which was, like, it was at this point, which is crazy to think about the fact that episode 37 was the point where we hit a million. Holy wow. It was a. It, it not... ballooned to 3 million over the course of the next. 20 some episodes. That's kind of exponential growth. Isn't it's insane, it? isn't it? Wow. Look at these old visual effects. I'm like, I could have done this it still better. Works. I mean, yeah, it's fine. Miss Watson, she kept pecking at me. Yep. And it got tiresome and lonesome. By and by, they pitched the nig. Huh. That's not a word I've ever heard before. Huck Finn. I, I'm, I'm not ashamed of this joke, but we were cutting a fine fucking line with this. Oh, very much so. But we, like, there was a line in a later one where it was like, but mom, I already read Huck Finn. Yes, yeah, so but this, this one, one has, has the N-word taken out. out. So and here's, that's, his, here's his first time reading Huck Finn. I remember we were actually like, okay, what should he be reading? And then you were like, wait a second. Huck Finn. We referenced the fact that he read Huck Finn. And so it's like, we'll put that here. I've never seen this word before. I know. I, just the innocence of a child. It's like, I don't know what this one means. I know. I, I, you gotta expect that he went to his mom and she was like, that, 
That's a no no word. Or at the very least he would have if oh, yeah. what happens doesn't happen. Oh well. Ray fetched the nick. Go home. Lunch is ready. Come home and set the table. Oh yay! It does come fishing, which means I'll get second. Food! I wanted to drop by and see my grandson. Also, money for you guys to live. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. I also brought you a gift, Gohan. A puppy. Bugs. Bugs. Yay. Oh, I'm sure he'll love them, oh. won't you, Gohan? Oh. Daddy. <laughs> Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa? Oh. Mom? 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 Almost crushed it. This is also the movie where I think all of the original Grandpa, score fits the best. Oh. Yeah. Taka. You know, and thank you for pointing that out. I did use a lot of the original score here because it's looking at the art style of the movie, the coloring, it, everything. It, it, it's right between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, right? So. Yeah. Um, I, it's so interesting to see how this movie interprets like kind of those events because of all the movies, as we put up, like mentioned before, are just reimaginations of arcs from the show in different scenarios. This is what if Pilaf, but evil but functionally functionally evil, evil. and also raditz like mm -hmm. that they they just took they kind of take those storylines you can almost see this as kind of the last dragon ball movie although it's also very funny because i believe in this movie another actor plays pilaf but in the show it's shigeru chiba who played raditz huh. yeah i know right go inside immediately oh yeah come on in stealthy bastard <laughs> Son of a bitch just ate my pears. I love that. <laughs> you don't have a car, right? That's like a just 10 mile Nimbus pears. ride to the nearest city. For pears! You have 10 seconds to tell me what you want before I strangle you with that cowl. I want the Dragon Ball! Give me the kid! Really what? channeling you Charlie Day, which son. is not difficult for Taka. You just want the Dragon yeah. Ball, right? Don't question my f***ing methods! F*** it! I'm taking your dad! He's a f***ing badass! Yeah, this, is, this was at the time where he was, and kind of still is, Really into Always Sunny. Yeah. Um. And uh. Yeah. He was using this like really high and really fast voice, and like we can use that for something. I yeah. Know he, he would go on to do that same voice in Attack on Titan as Armin. Yep. Uh. Forget it. I don't think you can. Yo, Zinza. All right, Dragon Ball Two. Please, if you wouldn't mind. I love I mustard. Remix is mustard, and this is this. like I don't know. It's not mustard. Oh, it's cinnamon. Oh, we'll, we'll go over. Pepper. 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 Chi-Chi, I heard lunch. What happened? <laughs> they took... Our lunch? No. They took... Our son. Hey, your dad's here. Hi, <coughs> Honor Gang. Focus. They took... Go, go. Gohan. Aw, oh, man. I can't have him miss lunch. It's the fourth most important meal of the day. Right after brunch. But right, right before, before dinner. Love, Love me some, some dinner, dinner though. <laughs> I, I love the blending of meal words here, and it comes back with one of my favorite punchlines in this movie later. Yeah. Silly portmanteaus. I live for the silly portmanteaus. Mm. So I'm gonna go get Gohan back. We'll be back in time for dinner. Chicken and waffles? Chicken, Chicken and waffles. waffles. <laughs> oh, and some, some for, for your dad. dad. By the way, that's me there. Um, I couldn't get I couldn't get in the OC, so I just was like, fuck <laughs> it, I'll just go there. <laughs> You, you do that a lot whenever it's like, because uh, I know you do it for, like, you've done it for Vegeta once as well, where you just needed a certain sound. Yeah. And it was like, eh, I don't want to bother Nick with this, so. Yeah. Um, I, it happened once in Bardock. It happened a, one or two times with Vegeta's characters. I mean, uh, Vegeta 39. With Bardock, like, when we get to episode of Bardock, uh, I kind of want to, like, do a moment where it's like, okay, which of us is playing the Kermit in this scene? Oh, yeah. And I, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, no. there were a lot of times where you swapped in for me, and I I can tell the difference very oh, easily. To be fair, I can tell the difference. Yeah. Like, and not just because I recorded it. But I'm like, curious how many people in the audience can tell the difference. Ooh, that's a good, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Oh, that's so, so gorgeous! Get this straight. I sent you shipped it off to find me a Dragon Ball, and you bring back a toddler. By the way, shipped it is a personal one that I constantly yep. use. It's spoonerism that I always liked. I, I I don't use it as much anymore, but during that time, it was like, instead of ship di uh, dipshit. dipshit, it was shipped it. Well, we did bring back the Dragon Ball. And a toddler. Did you try, I don't know, taking off the hat? Well, we thought about it on the way back, but it really brings Ant the fish. whole Chinese Also killing it with together. that Paul Lind. 
Oh my god. I remember I was originally going to try and do it. Antfish's was way better. Oh yeah. No, 100%. His is just spotless. Like we got Remix, Antfish, and Taka here. And uh, they're, they're, they're all killing it as these minions. Like th th this is one of my favorite group of movie minions. Yeah, you know, I have to admit, I think they're kind of the best trio. Um, in terms of best movie minion though, that one's another movie. Possibly. I mean, here's the thing. It's it's between this and Lord Slug for me and the minions. Well, uh, but there's... I, I also really like Android 13. But... Oh, oh yeah. Well, they're, they're less minions and more of a just the villain trio. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm talking about a, a specific minion in a, the next movie. Huh? Yep, yeah, true. I mean, I... If, if you count him as a minion as well. I guess... He, he... He's almost the primary antagonist in that one. <laughs> yeah, in that one, he is kind of the actual main villain. But enough about Cochin. Let's... T and he's your size! You can run that shit! Fair enough. Wait, boys, <laughs> not gonna let you get away with this. Big f***ing whoop! We beat Piccolo, and that guy's strong as shit! Yeah, so did my dad. By himself? By yeah. himself? Oh, oh God, your father's Goku. Oh, my <laughs> God, you moron! So Goku's, Goku's kid? How? How did you steal Goku's kid? Well, well first, first we, we beat, beat up his up. wife. Oh, my oh, shit. shit. Okay, look, new plan. Get the last two Dragon Balls. Now! I love that we basically treat Goku like the Baba Yaga. <laughs> like he's John Wick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's basically Baba Yaga. <laughs> because they know they know about Piccolo because they know about Kami. But clearly they heard that Piccolo lost to Goku at the World Tournament. Like, it, it feels like it would be world news that these guys would follow as it's pertinent to their interests. So, yeah. I, I like, like when, when it came down to writing that scene, it's like, why don't they just know Goku? Like, let, or at least Garlic Jr. knows Goku. Yeah, and... Really, I also, small thing, you can tell that one of my favorite swear words in these movies is shit, because I just love, like, throwing that around now. Um, somebody was like, we get it, TFS. You don't censor shit anymore. I'm like, yeah, but it's such a fun one to throw around in the right moment. It is. And also just, oh my shit. Oh my is, shit. <laughs> it's one of my favorite deliveries. Oh yeah, we'll just go off, scour the globe, and be back before dinner. Everybody else really shocked. <laughs> you know, it's not like they make a radar for this shit. Segway. Yeah, someone is collecting the Dragon Balls. Why'd they take Gohan? I don't know. Maybe they just want a good old-fashioned Goku fanny weapon. Fanny? Chi-Chi doesn't like us to swear. But isn't a swear. But who are you talking, talking about? about? <laughs> Come back here, you little shitlin! No, you smell like hairspray and shea butter. Swear to God, I don't know how I got put in charge of babysitting. Do I need something to take the edge off? <laughs> <laughs> I will slap fire from you! That's such I a good delivery. God. It really is. Oh, good. There you are. Now, be a good little crock spawn and let's go back to your room. I'm hungry. Ah, oh, well, maybe I can make you a peanut butter jelly and eat their sandwich and... Where did you get that apple? Uh-oh. In the tree. Don't eat that apple. I'll eat the apple. <laughs> Don't eat that apple. I'll eat the apple. Do not eat that apple. <laughs> I went with the most over-the-top side effects I could for him eating that fucking apple. That, that has very strong, what do you have there? A knife. No! no! Energy. Exactly. Now, so this upcoming segment, I'm not 100% happy with it. I feel like I could have, like, nowadays done way more. You might have been able to do more psychedelic stuff, but, it, like, when it came down to, like, how we wanted to handle the scene, it's like, Let's give him a night. Like, let's give him like one of those waking nightmare trips. We did turn all of the songs, the, the, well, all two of them, uh, into nightmares, didn't we? Yeah. Like, both, both his song in this one and the next one. We were just like, no, they're going to be horrifying. They're horror shows. I, I wonder if those were like unpopular in Japan because they kind of stopped doing them after a while. I they felt really aimed at little little kids. It did though, didn't it? Yeah. Oh balls. Well, oh, I hope you packed your bags, Thanks, kid, because you're, you're about, about to go, go on a trail. <laughs> Salvador Dali. <laughs> Icarus, no! I love that juxtaposition. Yeah. Get the last motherfucking balls! Gotta say, I'm sort of impressed. 
How'd you find them so fast? Prize in a high stakes poker game! Wow, never thought you had a poker face. Never said I played! Once again, fair enough. Never said I played. This might be the coolest Shenron ever looked. This is the coolest Shenron shot. I oh my god, right? Dragon. Make your wish and I shall. Make me immortal! Oh. Really? Wow. I can't remember the last time someone actually nutted up and asked for that. Congrats. Can't wait to hear how you f this up. Wait, what does that mean? It means your wish has been granted. Yes. Yes, I can feel it. With this eternal body, I shall enslave the world and fool it with great prejudice and terror. Hail, Garlic Junior! Hail, Hail me! me. <laughs> Hail, Garlic Junior! Hail, Garlic Junior! Hey, Garlic Junior! Hey, Garlic Junior! Straight from the dub. Oh. Yeah, basically. I am Son Goku, and your name sounds yummy. I have been told. <laughs> so, uh, did you guys steal my kid? Yep! An Amber alert up in here! Oh, don't worry about him. He's, He's just, just high in the, the throne room. room. Jokes, Jokes on you! you. I can fly. I think he's fucking dumb. <laughs> I love that you see Kami coming in face first. I know. Oh! <laughs> I want to imagine that Popo threw him. She's yep. like, I, I, I need to go there. I need. I yeah. no, just took him like a fucking a javelin, like, javelin, and whoosh, bat, whoosh. <laughs> That's canon. That is exactly what happened. Then there's this asshole. Oh, hello, Goku. What are you doing here? <laughs> I stole my kid. Hmm. I'm quite surprised you're I still see. alive, Kami. I believe the last time we talked was... Oh, when was that? All right. When you banished my father to another dimension. Oh, Garlic Jr. How oh, awful, awful to, to see you. you again. You're looking grotesque as always. Oh, hi there, Kettle. Name's Pot. Have, Have we met? met? Listen, Goku. It's a great comeback. Just go after your son. I'll handle Garlic Jr. Thank God. You're, You're welcome. Just that bitch. So you all jam. Deal with me. I'm bigger than y'all. <laughs> Fucking remix. I love his pepper. Man, left in such a hurry. I accidentally skipped lunch. Maybe this place is a cafeteria. No, it's a castle. A uh, meadery? You want some food? We can hook you up. I want some mother ginger! Or maybe some cinnamon! I got some pepper, pepper for you. you. Do you like pepper? Why did he say it? Huh, or maybe some cinnamon? <laughs> cinnamon! <laughs> oh my god. I, yeah, no, these are the best. They're, they're fucking great, man. You like pepper? Hey, those aren't foods. Those are things you put on foods. Black gingerbread! Or cinnamon! Uh, I, I, I got, got nothing. nothing. Hey! In the, like, in the dub, all he does is say, cheese! Yeah. Okay, now you're just making me hungry. And you wouldn't like me when I'm... <laughs> oh, that still looks painful. Ow. Hungry. So, why is that keep popping up? That's actually bothering me. More confused why you target Piccolo instead of me. Not that it matters. It's really bothering me that the timeline thing keeps popping back up. Oh, that's oh, why. Oh, it's getting pulled. Stupid mouse. You made me look bad. Booga booga booga. I'm going to put you down for good, not unlike I did your father, you miserable little. And I will enjoy watching you fail. Because you see, before you arrived, I used the Dragon Balls to grant myself immortality. Here's us pointing out a plot hole in their plan. <laughs> Wait, so you tried to have me killed, then use the Dragon Balls. Uh, what? Okay, yes, I'm sorry. What? Mm -hmm. Like, I remember, I, I, did we, did we realize that pothole while we were writing this? I think we realized it the, like, when we were doing our initial watch through for, yeah. like, for scripting it. And it was like, wait a minute. So they tried to kill Piccolo, which would have killed Kami, which would have made the Dragon Balls inert. It, it, I never, I never really kind of pieced that together growing up, but that is one of the biggest, like, logical inconsistencies in this movie, it's kind of insane. 
Like, they must... The only explanation is that they did not know that killing Piccolo would kill Kami. Which, you know, or, or you, you could say, yeah, probably, maybe. Or that killing Kami would, like, erase the Dragon Balls. They either had to, like, not know one of the other because... Wow! <laughs> Also, when Garlic Senior, that's all I'm gonna say. It's you know, we, we hear so like, you know Just wait, it, he'll show up in like Super, Super Dragon Ball Heroes or one of those like other Yeah, Garlic Senior. Yeah, probably like one of the four manga they have running right now. Yeah. Anyway, by the way, this shot is from the show. Oh. Yeah. The I, I kinda was running a little low on uh, footage. Movie footage. Views. Yeah, so I use some of the show footage. Luckily he has several episodes of an anime. Yeah, well, what? Oh, shit. Wow, I dodged a bullet on that one. Thank God my minions are so incompetent. Oh, case point. Oh. Oh. Now tell me where the meter is. And then the throne room. Please tell me the meter is in the throne room. Huh? So, by the way, it's hard to see that there's a second blast that comes in. I, yeah. remember, I remember when I watched this movie as a kid... Not realizing the visual thing that they were doing there, that where there was a second blast. I, I I remember the two blasts, but I always just thought like, yeah, they could have come from the same guy. Yeah. Here I come. This to is the same day. day. Mighty Mouse. Hey Goku, looks like you could use some help. Not oh, really, no. Know. Hey Krillin, <laughs> is that a second power beam? Some. Hey. Oh, hey Piccolo. You alive? Well, of course he's alive. Kami's alive. I mean, you guys have used the Dragon Balls, right? Oh, shit. Oh, wow, yeah, thank God we incompetent. Not even gonna lie, this is exactly what I'm looking for in a castle. Walls, ceiling, metery. Where? Where? Could do without the spice rack, though. So, not going to lie. You remember Scott Pilgrim? Oh, yeah. Uh, that shot where uh, Chris Evans, uh, as number uh, the second boyfriend, mm -hmm. looks over and then looks back, and you hear that... That like that small yeah. musical sting, that inspired that. Huh. Like that actually inspired me to use that as he looks up at uh, at Ginger. Hmm. <laughs> also, there is some people who literally thought what what is about to happen was edited in. No, that's Krill really Krillin funny. just gets peed on, and this is one of my favorite points of delivery. I'll talk about it after it, but. Uh, uh, huh? Huh? So in the booth when I was recording that, I just had a bottle of water with me. I was like, "Whoa!" I I also kind of love the fact that I use the sound of a cup being filled. Yeah, with water. like you, 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 you hear it go in and start to trickle up. It's just why? Like I was just screaming why and pouring water into my mouth and not drowning. Luckily. <laughs> <laughs> the Hannibal Barra sounds. Charlie well, Jr. got hands. Yeah, I know, right? So, Kami, why don't you pray for your life? And then, like every person who's ever prayed to you, I'll ignore it. Cold as ice, slime. We have a lot of, like, cold deliveries in this one. This one has one of my favorite cold... Piccolo deliveries. Oh, yeah, out. yeah. No, that one is six. Like, it, it might be my favorite. I mean, I know there's something to be said about uh, it means God now bow, but... Yeah. <laughs> Boink! Of course you know, this means war. My Looney Tunes loving heart. Johan! Krillin, I take back what I said. Get my son. Woohoo! I'm helping! I'm gonna break, break your butt. butt. <laughs> <laughs> I love the music here. Yeah. Oh, thank God he's on our side. I was aiming for the short, bald one, but you'll do. Here we go. <laughs> you mean? <laughs> you, you mean? Not so tough without your two backup dancers, are you, ugly? Now, why you gotta be throwing out mean words like that? You know, that's fair. How about I grab a couple of friends and try to murder you instead? But personally, I think that would be uncalled for. <laughs> You're right, because unlike you, I don't I don't need help. Yeah. Fucking love that! Mm. Yeah. Oh, come on, you guys. That's not fair. I can't pull swords out of my body. Stand, Stand still, still and you will! No, no. 
I was worried that people wouldn't get the joke there. No, apparently everyone who's like watched it got that got the joke. I'm glad. I thought it would be too yeah. subtle. I can't pull swords out of my body. Stand still and you will. Also, it's it's got it, that that delivery in general just has very SpongeBob energy. I don't know. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, I can hear it. Yeah. By the way, this whole like segment. This is one of the reasons I like OG Dragon Ball. Because of the over... choreography. Yeah. I'm sorry. This whole thing where he's dodging these swords is cooler than like half the stuff in the Frieza saga. And, and I'll stand by that. I will fight for that. This is just great. Yeah. No, no, dodge, no, dodge. No, no, whoop, whoop. No, no, my do. Stranger danger. <laughs> that shit gets longer? Yeah, it does. Kick. Goku kick. Friggin' hell. Last time I take on a guy with a pole that big. Incoming! Oh my god! Uh, so much fun. And here's a reference to the uh, neighborhood clock. What a douchebag! Throughout the entirety of the neighborhood clock dead zone, uh, when it came like time for like Vegeta thirty nine eighty six and myself to like write the script, we were like going through. Okay, we have uh, Sancho, we have this guy, and this douchebag. So in the script, he was just labeled as douchebag for like the first quarter of it because we didn't bother to look up Ginger's name. So she's like, "Screw it! Why don't we just have his name be douchebag? Because funny." What about, about a douchebag? About a douchebag? And uh. that, that that was literally the character, just that, and it's. I, I wouldn't call it good, but I would <laughs> say it's funny. And we reference that in one of the last abridged things we ever made. Mm -hmm. It is, it's always going to be me going back and just poking myself like, eh, eh. Because I, I won't let myself live that down. <laughs> What's wrong, honey? <gasps> Falling and can't get up. Do I need to push that big red button for you? <laughs> By the way, the, the sound of him struggling, that's me. Mm. <laughs> you just do a lot of those reaction bullets because it's like, do you really want to like pull somebody in for that? Yeah, because uh, some of the times it's like, it's it's so quick and so simple that I just hop in the booth or on my bike at the time and just be like, boom, done. No one's going to notice. No one's yeah. going to care. <laughs> okay, you're making this weird, Kami. We'll see how that immortality works out for you when I've blown us both into bits. <sighs> oh, really? You want to stress test this? Sure, go ahead. And while my men are scraping little green chunks off the wall, I'll be partying in my throne room with a harem of sexy demon skanks. Seriously, what part of immortality knows how to party. do you understand? I know, right? Actually, I'm with him. I'm gonna have to ask you not to blow yourself up right now. Well, well, it seems you've eluded my men. Yeah, yeah sure, sure, let's, let's go, go with that. that. Oh god, they're all dead, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, thank goodness they were so incontinent. incontinent. Looks like if you want someone killed right, you kill them yourself. Ooh, I'm gonna use that. Take a little bit. Huh. For a second there, I swore he was gonna yell at spaghetti or something. <laughs> Which is a reference to the fact that the other minions yelled out food names when they powered up. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I know that one gets missed a bit. Yeah, because because they they all like said not only did they say their names, you know, cinnamon, blah blah blah, pepper, but then they say the things that those things go on. So garlic and spaghetti. There. Kami, stay here and don't move. I swear, if I didn't know you, I'd call you a smartass. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Been bulking up since I installed the metering. Where, where is it? 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 I'm sure you can find one in hell. Crap! 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 Point. Harder to edit than you might think. I imagine. But the timing of that is particular. <laughs> oh, my wrist. It doesn't hurt a lot, but it's definitely uncomfortable. Maybe I should get a wrist brace. Or... Hey, Piccolo! Hey, Piccolo! <laughs> Next stop, rock bottom. I get it. <laughs> That's it. Taking off the clothes. Wait, why would you even bring your weighted gay? 
Why would you? Because I don't have a house to leave them in. Why don't you just buy a house with the Ox King's money? <laughs> Goku. What world do you live in? One well, with a house. And, and a wife. And, and a son. I really don't, don't care, care for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like playing borderline <laughs> evil Piccolo. Right. Garlic crumbles. You do realize he's immortal. Pretty sure you chopped garlic. Seriously, he wished for immortality before you showed up. Either way, I call this another win for Goku. Excuse me, that, that was, was my kill. kill. He's going to get up at any moment. He's got this technique too, and it's... I do love the fact that, like, immortal means immortal. Yeah. What? What do you not... What? What don't you understand? It's, it's like dictionary. Open a dictionary. He's... One. Piccolo, it's not a competition. I already won. You can still oh God. sense him. He's not. I am going to wear your entrails as sweatpants. I can literally see the debris shaking. <laughs> I am 110 percent done. Doing so. By the way, that voice. That's me. Like you know. Yes, I have Golly Jr. Then I had to bring it down here by so keeping it like I kept a higher note and then I pitched it down. Yeah. That is the hardest voice I ever had to do. No other voice was as painful or stressful as that voice. It's it's a good voice, dude. I, I'm glad I'm glad it works. Um it only works pitched down though. Because otherwise it just kind of and then whatnot. Right. Oh god, hold on, I have to... Okay, oh shit, uh, can we go back just a frame? Okay, so, what is that? Can you, you can barely see it, right? I mean, it's the dead zone, right? Yeah, it's... but what, what's that in the background? The... are you talking about like the black hole? Yeah, yeah, or... yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a black rectangle. It's a mouth. Is it? Yeah. See the fangs? Oh yeah! Fang there, fang there. Huh. I had no idea what that was the longest time. Like when I was a kid, I was like, what the hell is that? Why is there, it, it, yeah, it's yeah, a mouth. I, I, I never noticed that because I, I guess like due to the swirl, it, it always kind of gets like, I, I just kind of confuse it for like the distortion of the swirl. Yeah, and I think there's like a skull in the background. Like I think it's attached to something, but it's really hard to see. For the longest time, and I, this is gonna sound like the dumbest thing, I thought it looked like a pair of pants. I was like, what He's the opening heck? up the dead, he's opening up the pants. I, just, I just, gotta put him in the dead khakis. Yeah, like, it wasn't until I was an adult that I looked at him like, oh, that's a mouth. <laughs> Guess we're not fighting anymore. No. This is the dead zone. The same dimension you banished my dear father to come in. So is that how your father receives conjugal visits? Eat a dick, you wrinkle green dustbin. Wrinkled green dustbin is one of my favorite insults. <laughs> How dare you! Shut up! Oh, my castle! Hey, Piccolo! He's not dead! Yeah, how about that? Yeah, how about that? Well then, this victory is mine! You want I should take a turn? Shove it, Goku! Shut up! <laughs> Oh god, no! <laughs> I just woke up! Today. Demons, humans, and gods alike! It's even sucking up your children! That reference. That reference. What are what are we referencing with that? It, it, uh, um, it's coming for your wives, it's coming for your children. It was this old meme back in the day about I a dude don't, being I don't even remember. about a dude being interviewed about somebody who was uh, like uh, somebody in their neighborhood, some guy who was like causing trouble, and it was this one dude being interviewed, and yeah, that that's that, I don't even think I was aware of that when we wrote this. Like legitimately, I that does not ring a bell well, at all. Congratulations, I'm I, I I maybe a lot of other people never got it and never questioned it, but all right. yep. Gohan, Gohan, you've had one job. I don't want to die. Oh, 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 
you. And what is the fool you are going to do to stop me? <laughs> that whole ending is Taka's pitch. That like, oh yeah, I, I just wanted to like blow up and. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that, Taka was very insistent. He even had me go back and like redo my. Uh, uh. Yeah, because like honestly, I, nowadays I probably would have just given him a. Uh, uh. Yeah, I love that. It just a simple, quick. Nope, bye. Yes. <laughs> and done. None of that struggle bullshit. Just get out of here, you scamp. I don't know. Well, I think I won. You're the I think best, I won, though. Uh huh. Now let's go, go Han. Home. Go home. It's, it's almost, almost time, time for Dick Fist. Fist. <laughs> There's so many people who didn't understand Dick Fist, and that makes me sad. Dinner breakfast. Yeah, dinner breakfast. I'm gonna steal that kid. <laughs> and so the brave Son Goku oh, hey, and his Martin. son defeated yeah. the evil Garlic Junior. With the help of Piccolo, Kami, and the greatest ally known to mankind. By the way, I think this might be the last use of the narrator. I don't know if he shows up again in anything we do after this. Possibly. Somebody in the comments, remind you're, us. You're, we, you'll correct us. Yeah, if yeah. Wrong. Correct us. When is the last time the narrator shows up? We're getting to my favorite part of the epilogue. The, the Six Master, Master and Kung Fu Legend, Legend Krillin! Yeah, okay, so we have to stop you right there. First question. By the way, that's new animation by Zach Manley. Mm -hmm. um, he did a, uh, he actually did an animation for a uh, contest, a fan art yeah, contest. Yeah, fan art contest. Did. He did Four Star Force. And, and it, it, amazing. Like, yeah. blew us away. So we're like, we need to get in contact with this guy. Yeah, I think this was one of the first things he ever did for us on contract. Uh, wasn't the first thing he did producer Napa at the end of season two? You're right. Yes, that was the first thing he did. Mm -hmm. Why would he summon the dead zone? The only thing that could defeat him. Okay, you know, I wrote myself into a corner with that whole immortality thing. Pretty much regretted it immediately after. Second question. I mean, no offense. Why exactly were you there? I do bring a certain humanistic edge to the setting. And why did you write yourself getting peed on? The, the better question, question is, is, how much will you pay me to get peed on? You're gonna go far in this business. Welcome to Hollywood! The film Sky Gina was eventually produced. It grossed 7 billion zenny in its first week. Due to Krillin's lack of foresight, however, as well as a convoluted contract, he received no money from the film and was stricken from the credits. He now lives broke as the day he was born. At Comic Con. To the Twilight Zone! I love him down there in the corner, like, help! Yep. Feeling born, like he rules its moving star. Gotta that I've gone too far. You gotta know when the bullet hits the bone. Yeah, you gotta know when the bullet hits the bone. Your music choices for all of these end credits have always been fantastic. Yeah. And this might be muted right now. It's oh, it probably is. Probably almost certainly muted. Yep. One hundred percent. So I'm I'm getting backed up with like a karaoke track or something. I don't know. Yep. And so what we have time to throw together. Yep, that's it. That was the Dead, Dead Zone. zone. Oh uh, my God, I can't, honestly, I, I forgot that this was even gonna be filmed today, so. Yep. Happy to surprise you. Yeah, that was one million subscribers. Oh yeah. my God. I don't know how many subscribers we're at here on Four Star Bento. Pro uh, probably not a million. If we're if we're there by now, then holy moly. No, no, we're not. Oh. No, no, Four Star Bento is nowhere close. But we're on our way! Yeah, hey. If you aren't subscribed, hey, please do subscribe. Oh, by the way, something that we always fail to do, if you want these a week early, go to our Patreon. Yeah, that'll get them a week early, and if they ever have ads on them, they won't have them on them on there. Yep, we have ad-free versions. We have them up a week ahead of time. Usually a week ahead of time, sometimes a couple of days, depending on when they get done, when we put them up. Yeah. But you get them early, that's cool. No, also, I... you get to support the team, which, hey, we really do appreciate all of our current patrons. Thank you so much. Helps us keep the lights on. It's you true. Know, uh, but yeah, this this was our, uh, since we skipped over the first two movies when we started this project, since I had previously worked on them in another fashion, it was like, everybody wanted to see our takes on them. Yep. And it, it is a little odd that they're kind of like out of order for some people. It's like, so wait, when does this take place? Why is Gohan a yeah. baby again? But 
Man, Dead Zone is like one of the better Dragon Ball movies. Oh yeah. Like in terms of just its its structure, its animation and art and oh man, I'm sorry. The, the movie is gorgeous. Like it is it kind of blows a lot of the other movies out of the water in terms of its art direction. Like, yeah, like wow. Of the Z movies, I mean, of the Z movies, World's Strongest is still my favorite. I, I mean, me, me too. It's it's such a simple setup. It's so easy, but it's so effective in what it's trying to do mm -hmm. that it will just... Yeah, I, I can appreciate something that doesn't set its sights too high, but does it spectacularly, mm -hmm. and that's World's Strongest for me. Uh, but, yeah, we'll have to get to World's Strongest a bit later on, because now, time to dip our toes back into canon. Yep, yep, yep. As we move on, next time. On this thing. That. We. Are. Doing.